This is a three watch collection that covers off every possible type of desirable watchmaking. So I'm putting this rating down for you, Adrian Barker, and you put yours down. You're right, 10 out of 10, I'm glad you did that. You turn up to, let's do your red bar crew meet, whatever the fuck it is. This is, that is, you could do a Feel watch the orgasm. Suddenly I'm getting buzzed off. <laughs> fuck you, I'm buzzing, I'm, I'm taking all the buzzes. To a bad effing time. Oh, cheapers, the number one watch Wake podcast up. in the world with three hosts. Maybe. Possibly. Yeah, I'd say that's probably the most questionable one we've done. Is it? But no, that's okay. Yeah. We'll leave it. George, Adrian, <laughs> <laughs> speaking of three things, we'll do three quick wrist checks and then there's going to be a theme relating to three that we'll get to. Cool. Okay. Game on. Who's on? I'm up. What is that? Oh, I wanted to do it. I said it! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I am wearing the Baltic Ooh. Titanium Blue 300-meter diver that is 41 millimeters. It has a Miyota movement. The boss man's telling you it to has, take it off. Oh, of course he is. It wasn't enough that I got it perfectly in frame. This is a 710 euro watch that looks a million dollars. It has this really glossy, lovely dial. We have another glossy, but actually there's like a... A sort of a radial brush to the bezel that, that makes it not super shiny, a little bit matte looking. But for 710 euro, I challenge you to find me something that wears and looks as good as this. Yeah, fair play. Okay, I'll leave it in. Right, I'll go next. Yeah. Oh, sliding What in. is that? Futuristic. Do you know I love this one? Slab of just pure. Oh, wow. Zoom. Look at that. Oh, oh I like I just do. do you know, I do. I, I, is... Honestly, I think when it came out, when I first saw it on your wrist, I was like, why do I need this? And I do. I didn't and, feel that way. And and I I, I do need it. I, I don't know why. I think that's something All right, Adrian, you're limited cool. to 90 seconds, go. Right, so this is the Apple Watch Ultra. This is in titanium, and it is just absolute sex. If you want to know more about it, check out. Bark and Jack, no. <laughs> what we, what we got? Agent Barker on, on uh, YouTube. <laughs> I love that you have to keep on putting it in. Put it in. Oh, yeah. Well, it's going to turn Georgie up. Georgie Boy, now. what do you got? Okay, I have got, because I'm representing me, uh, oh, Christ, and I set this up for it. Here. <laughs> How did you botch that up so I'll, well? I'll, I'll do it again. <laughs> I've got, I have got... An out-of-focus watch. Oh, there it is. The Bremont Bamford. Uh, the, I mean, for me, this is just, I, I've talked about this on season one, so I'm not going to over, over talk it, it's, it's, um, yeah. but I absolutely love this watch and I love Bremen, British brand, and they're just cool guys. And I just love, love what they do. So for me, this is what, and this is the Bamford edition, California dial ceramic bezel. I mean, I can give you the whole spiel on it, but I love this watch and I don't want to bore people longer on this, but I love it and I wear it a lot. You can see because the strap is actually worn. Uh, so, you know, I always think oh, that. Ding too. I love it. Love a ding. A little scratch here in the bezel. Yeah, there should, there should be a few dings on Oh, there's a big ding next to here. Yeah, there should be a few dings. I wear it and beat it around. Well, guys, it's about effing time. We pushed them out of the way. What are we doing? What are we doing? And talked about our three watch collection, our oh, fantasy three watch collection. Take your watches back. Now, the rules are as follows. This is not a three watch collection with watches you already own. This is a three watch collection that covers off every possible type of desirable watchmaking with three watches you do not own. Budget. Unlimited. Good. So. Mm, okay. Yes. That's it. Let's get started. Um, how long have we got to 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 pit? Because I, I guess there is a competition. There here. is a comp competition, and, and, and you guys have to choose who has the best three watch collection. Yes. Uh, so, well, what time limit do we have? To, I, th I to think. Pitch? And what we need here. Look at that. Quickly, George, talk us through this because this is this is a, a roadmaster, and it's, it's you know it's, it's, it's got a tag a, Hoyer. 
So. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, it's a Hoyan tag. Oh, it's a okay, tag. okay, okay, uh, okay. Dad jokes coming out. Dad jokes. <laughs> uh, this is a Roadmaster. This was 80s, and this used to fit into cars, and it was like this plastic, um, kind of almost Velcro esque, um, and it was their modern take on the rally timers. Wow. Yes. Um, awesome. I love it, and you can imagine it in a Porsche or something like that. It was it used to fit in those kind of. Um, uh, cars. Um, is just, it, how's it operate? Is it battery? I just told you oh. about five million sorry, times. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. You yeah. wind there, okay. you press start, yeah. you okay. press stop, you right. press reset. Okay. okay? He's a how long antsy. we got? He's antsy because we're doing our three watch collection. <laughs> he's nervous because he knows he's going down. And the rules are as follows. I was about to tell oh. him, you, you interrupted me. This is one of those episodes, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, the rules are as follows. Budget. Good news, gents. Unlimited. Amazing. Cool. Yep. Like. So there is no limit. You, we can go three complete baller, ridiculous level watches or not. We can be Balance. relatable. Number two, we have to limit our our you uh, our, what's, what's the word I'm using for? We have to limit our waxing lyrical about our watches. Okay. So ten minutes or less, and that's where this so, so sad guy's going to come in. Ten minutes. I ten minutes. No, let's let's reduce per collection. Five minutes. No, per collection. Okay. Yeah, 10 minutes per whole collection. So you get, uh, we get to hit bang and then you get 10 minutes to go through all three. Fine, fine. You Let's want shorter? Okay. Okay. You want even more of a challenge? Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, you good with that? Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> well you can't go so short that it's like... Well, I just think... Well, this, this and he's this. desperate for a piece. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's kick off then, Adrian Barker, you're starting. Bang. Okay, cool. Good. Captain Boring is, is in the room. Right. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch the time here. Bring it on. So, and my it is first working, watch the of watch the Three Watch too. Collection is, if you follow my channel, which is oh, youtube.com wow. forward slash Adrian Barker. Yep. Is it? YouTube.com forward slash yep. Barker. Thank I can't you remember. Just, just search it. So this is a Vacheron Constantin 1921. This is... So you have been telling the truth. You no, no, le le legitimately. I'd, I'd, I've said lots of times, and I'd, I like it's a little bit of a flex of mine, that I get hands-on with thousands of watches from all price points. Mm -hmm. Very few do I legitimately fall in love with. Mm -hmm. And this watch fits... It just has everything that I want in a fancy dress watch. If I'm going to put on a suit and go to a dinner or something, this has just the right amount of artiness about it. It doesn't make me feel uncomfortable. What you were saying in another episode about the watch wearing you as opposed to you yes. wearing the watch. Yes. I didn't feel, although this is a very expensive watch, this mm -hmm. is about 30 grand, 20 to 30 grand. I didn't feel like this was wearing me. Yeah. I felt like we have a connection. It's it's simple in the fact that it's at time only. It isn't too in your face. However, it has little touches of character with the, the Breguet numerals. The hands, I'm, I'm not particularly into fancy hands, but these hands and everything about this, I love. And uh, your point about the watch wearing you, this is exactly the opposite. This is just- This is awesome. So inside Captain Boring, there is a far less boring person trying to get out. There absolutely is. No, no, there is. I, I see George's trainers. I would love to wear George's. Get him up, get them up. Let's, 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 let's get your trainers on, on, on the table. Put it up, up with them. Oh, really? Wow. Well, Look at wow. these mond uh, beautiful. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but no, no. But genuinely, I would love to be able to put off something like this. And so, yes, there is. They are brand new. George. There is. Uh, they're not have brand you ever new. Worn them no, I've, I've worn them a few times. Um, this just to kind of get back to the watch. This, we talked about um, uh, um, wedding presents. Yes. I advised a friend of mine to get this for his wedding day. It was in Perfect. Um, Perfect and, wedding and watch. he was one of my best friends. Yeah. If, if, if I had the cash, this would have been my dream. And I think the buying this as a wedding watch would be amazing. Because it, it's such an elegant, beautiful watch. It is a yeah. flex. Okay. Almost. One more question mm -hmm. before we go on. You're within your three minutes, so I'm not jacking too much of your time. Cool. What's your strategy here overall? Like, we should start there. What are you Perfect. doing? So, so my strategy is I want watches that I know. I went in here with watches that I would genuinely buy if I had the money, not something crazy like a, an RM or some mm -hmm. Richard Mill. Uh, th th these are watches that I would legitimately buy and legitimately have in my collection and I'd actually wear and enjoy. There is one watch that I'm, I'm buying not for wearing purposes. Okay. Oh, watch, maybe. okay. Okay. So, oh, Captain so Boring is. Oh, you're right on time. Lovely. 
back. So, this is the oh. Rolex GMT Master 2 Pepsi. <laughs> so, the, the Vacheron is my dress watch. That's my fancy watch. This is my everyday watch. I... Cole Pennington has one of these as his daily wear. Well, he's he's your he's your you're inspired. No, 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 no. What, what I like about Cole and his Pepsi I, I, he's is that it is <laughs> is that his watch is scratched up. This is used. This is a tool watch. This is a watch that's supposed to be worn every day. Fuck the investment value. Fuck the value retention. It has nothing Who to do with it. Who wears a jubilee every day? Someone who doesn't a give a shit about it getting scratched up and doesn't it's worry about it. The scratch factor. It's just Have, it's super blingy and fancy and shiny. Yeah, for the first couple of months and then it chills out. I don't know. No, I, not with those polished okay. things. I, I absolutely love this watch okay. and this would be my daily watch. I'd wear it day in, day out. It'd be the perfect travel watch. You don't need any other watch. And so... My watch collection here is. Do actually, you have it on Jubilee or Oyster? You have it on Jubilee. That's that's what the. If you get it on Oyster, it's wrong. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I have a two watch collection, right? You do. I've got this daily. Don't need anything else. When I want to get dressed up, I've got the Vacheron. Interesting so, strategy, George. I don't know what's going on here. But then the horological interest kicks in, mm -hmm. and that's where the money gets spent. Okay. So this is a Langen zone. Mm. split chronograph this is a watch which is pretty on the front however i saw one at a red bar in new york and this oh the image better load up there we go this is an absolute Ooh. city on the back and this this image doesn't give it justice in the slightest there is Finishing so much everything. depth to this movement it is you can honestly just sit and stare at this thing. Mm -hmm. The engineering side of it is an absolute masterpiece. The finishing is gorgeous. And then just the construction, the design of it. In fact, it's probably not the design. It's the way that it's been executed to show off the depth of this movement. Honestly, this, this blew my mind. This is legitimately watch porn for me. I have one very, very important question. Why the fuck are you not wearing it? Because I, I don't think... I, so you're buying this in your free watch, but you're not wearing it. I don't need to wear it. When, when would you George, wear that? please explode on my behalf. Just do something. <sighs> why but, aren't you exploding? But, but no, no. Do you know why I'm, I'm not, not exploding? Because let's just wank up. <laughs> <laughs> but, what more can I say? But, I'm like, but, just but, no, come no, go, on. Go, 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 go. Wear the fucking watch. Enjoy the watch. No, no, love no, the no, watch. No, no. You know, don't no, no, have guys, a guys, fucking show it. pony that you bring everyone no, no, up no, to no, a no, safe no. and go, oh, look at no, my you've watch. You've misunderstood. You've misunderstood. He's going to keep it in his wall finder. Yeah, no, but, but it's not he's going to put it in like a dining room table or something and go, oh, look at that. That's amazing. Oh, fuck me. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't you feel breathing on it. Come on. Fucking wear the watch. No, enjoy no, no, the watch. No, no, guys, 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 you've, you've misunderstood. I'm not wearing it because I don't, it's not something I would wear. I'm not buying it to wear it. It's like buying, I don't know, let, let's say I like the look of a leather jacket, but I'm just not a leather jacket person. Get it, watch See, for you. me, no, my collection of one watches I'm going to watch, fucking wear. Show me a watch that has this level of watchmaking in it. Grubal Forsyth. That I'd want to wear. Minerva. See, I would want to. I would, I'd I'd want, wear, to wear, I would want to wear one of the Google Forces. There's only one Google Forces that I'd wear, and that's the, the handmade one. Yeah. The, the Minerva movement, robust case, absolutely yeah. mind blowing movement. No, not the. Is it the handmade one? Can I change? To no, 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 but no, but no, 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 I'm, like, I'm, I'm, you've got I, two I, minutes I, left to be boring. See, I, for me, I would go over a group of four say over this, and that's the thing is, when you were bringing this out, I was going to change. I was literally trying to change my idea on what what my last one was because I thought, yeah, you're kind of right. It's one of those that you would keep in a safe type scenario. But then I was just like, fuck that. I would everything I've chosen, I will wear. 
But, but my, my point is that I don't just buy watches because I want to wear them. I buy them because there's an other interest. And for me, if I had the cash to do something, the money isn't even the issue with this watch. It's, it's actually getting it. I think yeah. there's, there's probably two made a year. So that these are painfully hard to find. But this is, if you see one of these in real life, they it is no, I, no, I, I, mind blowing. Totally see the thing good. is, if that person who'd brought that to the Red Bar Group had your strategy of never wearing it, you never would have seen it. That's why you need to take this out and show the next Adrian Barker. I, I, I take it inspire out. Them. I take it out. I just it just it just wouldn't. No, but it, 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 it would be, it'd be, it'd be it's, no, but it would be like it's, like, it. it's like those Pateks oh, so that are still in the plastic. Yeah, you you kind of keep it in a Ziploc bag and kind of be like. How would you take it to the Red Bar meeting? You don't have to fucking wear all the watches to Red Bar. Yes, you do. I take eight watches to Red Bar. I don't have them all on my wrist. So you've okay. got a security guard with okay. like a no. briefcase attached to his Adrian, hand. Adrian, you and I need to go to a Red Bar meet because I, it'll be... A, it'll be... You do it in different ways. Okay, George. Do you, you throw watches George, around? Listen, listen, George, do you have a safe full of watches? I have recently found one of my first watches. The problem is that the bezel's a bit, um, a, a, a bit fun. The, the trick is that you can just use um, uh, things... House. It is a shame that the bezel's a bit dodgy on this thing, but it will give me a chance to, to tell you guys about uh, a, a bezel that isn't dodgy. Getbezel.com. Behind the, 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 the very fancy branding and the, the slick website and the very easy to use app, there's a whole team of watch experts who are not only passionate about watches, they are incredibly knowledgeable about watches. Bear with me. These guys have over $220 million worth of watches, which makes me think we could be doing something else with these tools. So whether you're buying your first nice watch and you want a little bit of handholding along the way, they will do that. The most important part is the fact that they will authenticate every single watch that they sell. It's crucial to have a, a rubber tip whacker because you don't want to add extra dents into your watch. You don't want to scratch it unnecessarily. Now the nice guys over at Get Bezel have given us a discount code that we can give to you. Just use AET200 when you check out and you'll get 200 Hundred dollars off your first order, which is um, pretty handy. Go to get bezels.com. Check your next watch. Sign check. Nine minutes <clears throat> and thirty Here. seconds. You've got a few safes full of watches. Do you wear every single watch in that safe? Yes. I don't believe you. I do because I had a. I had um, one of the years of COVID. I literally went through and wore one. There, there must be At watches home. in that safe. No. That, that no. you have. No, there I don't is believe every, every single uh, watch. Uh, uh, right. Time stop. So, yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> so, jo um, George, Adrian, guys, guys, stop, 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 stop. I forgot something. The most important part, actually. Ugh, that's not unusual for me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there's two very important elements to this video. Number one, we are going to rate each other's collection and keep that rating under wraps until the end of the episode, then we're going to turn the cards over and see who we rated to have the best collection. Right. Secondly, most importantly, you are deciding what you think is the best three watch collection out of our three. You can mix and match, but that's all going to get messy. So please just suck it up. Say, I don't like all three, but just this one is the George, winner. Just it's fine. Yeah. I, I'm, I win. Yeah, I okay. win. I win. I, yeah. get, let him say I win one more time. So I'm putting this rating down for you, Adrian Barker, and you put yours down. You're right. 10 out of 10. I'm, I'm glad you did that. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So right. who's next? George Bamford. George. Right. Hit the, so, hit the buzzer. Reset. And no, you press reset. the green to start. Already okay. reset. Yeah, that makes sense. Right. Good. So we'll put that up there because I'm over this side. Okay. And time's away. So I have cool. got a three so watch what's the strategy first. So three watch collection of watches that I either are going to buy or are out of my budget or, and this is my thing is there's three watches that are three different flexes, but they're watches I would wear. Mm -hmm. So that, that's the yeah. pleasing bit. Sure, sure. There's watches that I like. Sure. And I think actually these are watches I want. Uh, one of them, and I'm going to start with is... Oh, day two. Oh, yeah, wow. <laughs> Good choice. Oh, Adrian. Oh, Adrian. I love how the, the, the three sub dials are. I love, I love this watch. And when I tried this um, on a few, a uh, few years ago, um, the prototype, I fell in love with it. And you know, honestly, this is this is one that's on my on my wish list. I haven't got it on the bracelet. I haven't. It's one uh, of those. Uh, all the watches you've chosen. Ones you've got relationships with, or we. 
<laughs> I mean, let's get that out of the way. It's, uh, yeah, and let's get that out of the way. Is, there a, is there a sellout card? George, where? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Honestly, no, but this is a watch I want to buy, okay? Well, so it's not... It's let not... me ask the devil's question, the Vex question. Why would you buy this over a solid gold Daytona? Just pulling another random watch out of the air. <laughs> because... Honestly, the amount I, I just don't I, I I don't like that on their, their people's wrists. I think this is something that's a different flex. It's something different, and it's it's a different story. I know that it looks similar, it looks similar, but the thing is, what I like about it is I love talking about the movement. I love talking about the chronograph. I love. <laughs> This is nasty. It's getting okay, really nasty. shall I move on to my next one? Because uh, okay. you're going to destroy well, me. Great. Okay, uh, this is going to be one of the quickest say, sessions ever. I, know, I, 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 I was part of the launch of the Chrono Master in that I, I was we were one of the first what? to get really? it. Really? Yeah. And oh, I, I've only who's sponsoring who? A few times. <laughs> and I do. I do still feel that those tricolored dials make it impossible to confuse the two. I, I, I like the tricolored dial. I, Guys, I, can, can you tell who who and also has like the, the relationship with the brands and who the the independent one is? Okay, <laughs> so F you. Oh dear. Oh. Yeah, now. I like that. It's okay, fine. so it's the fine. reason why I like this is but I saw it at uh, Watch Week, um, uh, Geneva Watch Week, and I went into, I, I went around all of the different boxes um, in all the different areas, and I walked in there and I thought, I know this brand. I know them. I, I, you know, I've seen them on the internet. I've s seen all the things. I've seen also, and I just fell in love with the watch. I was just like, I want one of them. I want them to. This is a, talking to you guys. I want one of your watches. I want you to do a Bound for Aqua Blue version of that. And I would, I would in on, and it's and and I, I'm literally showing them. So it's trilobe. So and we've got the hours, the minutes, the, and the seconds. Yeah. And How fucking cool! And, and these and, these and, red. Accents. So it's 6.20? Is that the yeah. time? Or is it 2? 2? Two? Two. Uh, no, so, yeah. no, no, no. It's, okay. it's, it's, yeah, so it all comes off there. It's 6.20 yeah. and 20. Yeah, so you read it all along here then. Okay, so they've over-engineered a watch then. Yeah. yeah. Oh, stop oh, it. I, yeah, I, I love, I love. Hands work yeah. well. I just and how you, how big is that dome? Is that it's is it's that, is that, that, that dome it's, is sexy. That, it's that not is. it's not overly big. And the thing is, for me, this is a brand that everyone should be knowing about because they are going to be pushing the boundary, like MBNF did um, when it first came out. I think these guys, how they're measuring time in different ways, their other trilobe is absolutely amazing, and this for me is a brand that you need to be talking about. And if you're not talking about it, fucking journalists then get on and fucking talk about them they yeah. are great what, what, what i like about this I, I, I like mbnf but personally that they're, they're they're a bit too far out there for me this feels like a slightly more reserved mbnf and i that i like that a lot i, I think honestly cool. and the guy the people that are a part of it are amazing i was i was just chatting to them and and his the guy that set it up his wife was giving birth and it was just it, we were just chatting and i was just like this is fucking awesome you're, yeah. you're a very honest brand they've come up with something new i can't say the name of the watch because i don't speak french <laughs> but honestly it is a cool watch it is sexy yeah. and i don't even care about reading it or not reading it the the i i just love it because it is a watch flex you turn up to let's do your red bar crew meet whatever the fuck it is this is <laughs> That is, you could do you a watch respect. orgasm here of loads of watches, and you turn up with that, and everyone go, "Ooh, I want to know about this watch. Yeah. Why do you choose?" I'm already that? nervous about. Time. I'm nervous about putting it in a sex pile. That's that's gonna. No, but it, they're beautifully just made. Everything off it. They're, they're, <laughs> honestly, they're beautifully made, and for me, this this is something. And they're part of the G, um, GPHG. Um, they they've been voted um, by some wonderful watch people, and this is one of those things. So yeah. for me, that is. And see, I'm I'm behind time. You're traveling I'm, well. No, you're on six minutes. Perfect. So that's a watch that I want. I'm going to say to you is price roughly. I was on their website about twenty one thousand uh, euros for that. Yeah, 
So wow. So roughly, I, I, I but have a, to see what the finishing is like in in person. Oh, I mean, like honestly, it it's, it's yeah, but for that price, that, that seems it's freaking amazing. Wow. Okay, Fair. cool. Now the other one. Oh yeah. Oh dear. So this is for me when I put this three levels out. Okay. This is my where the whole time beat the hell out of it. Diver watch that. Yes, it's a limited edition. There's some things they've got. I just loved playing with how you can take the bracelet or the strap off. I loved everything about this watch. I think is very cool. It's also an unsung hero out of the AP world, and I and you get the Gerald Genta kind of not Gerald Genta, but you get that vibe. I really love how you descrew that. I, there's just so many things about this that for me is one of those, but it's out of my price bracket. And so when I look at this, this I, is unlimited. George, this is the fantasy George. No, you're not. This is right. this is me doing three watches this that I can feels realistically pedestrian for you, George. No, it's not. Yeah. This is this is this I'm is surprised. me. I, I, I'm surprised. Oh, yeah. screw you. This is <laughs> a watch brand you didn't even know about is in the middle, and then I've got two watches that I think are fucking cool. And I do think they're cool. I think to myself is I I this is your so, let's go to south of France, go and have fun on the beach. The the rose gold is very much like that's my bit of bling, and the middle one is the flex. Those are my three. That's a ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Writing time, Mr. Barker. All right, yeah. I know I'm going to be ripped to shreds by this time. <laughs> I think I've got the best collection. Do put in comments <laughs> that I have the best collection. Screw these guys. Just say oh, George is very honest and we like the things. Because the thing is, oh, when you look stop. at the best this collection, is, This is like leading the witness. Leading the witness. Okay. So I guess that Yours just... Yours is dreadful. Shut up. Yeah, I guess that just leaves me. <laughs> I guess that just leaves me. I, I, I'm going to do the timing right, on fine, this. You can fine, have the fine, iPad. Fine, there we go. Fine. You can have the iPad. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. You're not going yet. <laughs> <laughs> so rules are there to be broken. Oh, um, no, no. Disqualified. Disqualified. <laughs> My collecting strategy with this fantasy round. Money is not a problem. So to, to suddenly limit that is just to, to, to lose immediately because you're not playing by the rules of the game, which allow a lot of scope. Mm -hmm. I looked at watches that provided three different materials, at least two different time displays, three different price points, three different oh, genres. Geez. My first watch is, and this is where I'm breaking the rules, I am going a red no, submariner. No, 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 no. I, I, I thought it was, sorry, sorry. Season one, sorry. No, no, sorry. No, 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 is no. Totally unfair. <laughs> oh, st no, I'm going for it. I'm There's just no gonna, vintage. I'm just going to. no vintage. <laughs> oh my God, he's reaching for more buzzers. No, this is staying. I'm just going to keep talking. So, it, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm buzzing you back. <laughs> That's Marcus who's buzzing as well. It's really sorry, but right, no. Fine. fine. There, I, I, I made oh. the rules. I did not mention that it had to be vintage. Two things. One, what? that's vintage. And two, could you be any more no. basic? No, I couldn't. A creamy I, red Well, I could. boring is saying... I'm talking about the ultimate three-watch collection. A three-watch oh. collection is bereft without the watch that is the source code for, for, for so many modern watches. Look at that I'm red I'm disappointed text. both the of you. Pelagos, it George looks comes back. with a fucking AP Royal Oak and you and come with a Submariner. It's a oh, red sub. Captain. Offshore <laughs> diver, <laughs> fuck I'm you. Captain it's a boring. red sub. It's a very different to a okay. boring Submariner. So anyway, this, this has to be in my three watch collection. You know what? 
Everybody broke the rules in season one, and suddenly I'm getting buzzed. Oh, fuck, <laughs> fuck you, I'm buzzing. I'm, I'm taking all the buzzers. No more fucking buzzers. Oh, fuck I've never had so much fun okay, in my life. Okay, second. All right. Now, look, this is okay. something I was pretty upset. Sorry, sorry. I, I, uh, okay. You're a demon. Three watch collection. I'm getting deja Very vu. diverse. Okay, yes. No, this is So the... who gave you the idea for this? I'm like, come on. I'm, I've been upset about it since it dropped. I'm not changing. I'm like, who? <laughs> the masked watchmaker and I came in on a plane days ago, oh. you know, he's, he, I'm just going to ask him one question, he's going to give the thumbs up or thumbs down, am I lying? Oh, it's a thumbs up. This was done before. It's a thumbs up. Before, it's a thumbs up, mate. No, this watch is the jumping time display on this watch not only offers a little bit more so intrigue sexy. to a watch with hands, mm -hmm. it, it shows the technical powerhouse that is Lang & Zerner. I haven't ever wanted to pull the trigger on this watch, though, until I saw the pink gold version just released a couple of weeks ago. Gee, my blood is up. Whew. But the journey with me and this watch started back at one of my first SIHH uh, attendances ever with this guy here, Marcus, and a Christian Hagen, very sexy man. Yeah. We talk about him a fair he bit. He is a sexy Yep, man. wears his shirts open to the navel. He's got a neckerchief. He rocks a neckerchief like no French man ever has. A very attractive man. He was wearing this watch. I was dressed like a car salesman or, or a, <laughs> a politician in an outer suburb. I had a shiny blue suit on. I sat down with Christian and I was just like, excuse me, sir. What's that watch? It's marvellous. And he told me a whole story that ended with him saying that this watch um, wears heavy and wears large, but I believe something along the lines of um, that someone he'd made love to the night before had complained that he'd scratched her with this watch, but he'd scratched her with the Zeitwerk, so it was okay. He could scratch me with that watch. He could scratch you with that watch up yeah. and down. This is the ultimate langer. You know, and again, I know we've both dropped langers, but to me, this is the only one. Because, it, it, again, if you're a watch person like we are, and we're at an event, we're out and about in the public, people don't want to look down and see all of your collection, Adrian. They want to see something. They do, of course they, they do. Don't. See for me, they want to see this. No, this, this, this is gorgeous. This and do you remember that IWC that had it top and bottom? There was a blue blue dial. Yes, yes. Had, had the the jumping hour as yeah, well. Jump, jump, I I well. love I love this. The Pal Weber. The Pal Weber. Yeah, I love. I, I can never pronounce it. That's why yeah. I, I'm pleased that I'm with journalists because the thing is this. Why did I bring it up earlier? Because it's one of those watches that, yeah, you know, sexy. it is so yeah. sexy. And I can't wear it. Like, I know... But um, if you brought this as a one watch... The mask, I, speaking of the mask watchmaker... No, he, no, he no, 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 there's no, no, no reference. No, 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 no. He he, often and wears... I'm going to call bullshit on, on YouTube no. chatting. because piss off. <laughs> he came with me on the flight. Now, my third choice is a watch I discovered only last week. Quartz movement, no? Yes. yes. Yeah. But with a twist. So this is the FP Jean Elegante, yeah, I think it's which awesome. is a unisex watch. It's it's in um, two sizes for men and women, but men and women can wear other size. This is the 38 millimeters in titanium with a fully luminous dial. Yeah. I had never handled this watch in the metal. Frankly, that sort of tono shape or however you want to call it, like a barrel shape, hadn't really appealed to me. I didn't really understand it. And where's my phone? Now I sat next to a guy called Oliver Serdan, who is the editor and founder of Coat Magazine, C-O-T-E. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know him? Yeah. And he sat next to me at an event. And I, he's wearing I, I, he was wearing this. Right. And I Flat. just absolutely tracked onto it. And I did not stop. And I, I, it was one of those moments where I said, as weird as this is, I'm going to ask you to try your watch on. And when I did, because I, I was looking for a third watch for my collection. This is 15,000 mm -hmm. Swiss francs for a Jean. 15,000 Swiss francs for a Jean. The best thing about this watch, though, is this little aperture here that opens and shows this little tiny, tiny micro rotor. Do you know what that's for? Mm -mm. So this is a quartz watch, but when you flip this over and see the back, look at this beautiful circuitry display around this heart. How cool is that? Again, decoration, open case back on the back of a quartz movement. You look depressed, I know why. This watch, if, this, if that rotor doesn't move for 30 minutes, it stops the watch and stops the battery. So the battery life on this watch is up to 25 years. So you actually wow. power the quartz movement. When you pick it up and put it back on again, there's a tiny computer that has logged the time that it stopped and the, the hands magically readjust so to the time so that it is. basically you just keep it in the safe and... and it, it, and it would and pass you, Adrian's you an box. Adrian, yeah. It would 100% pass Adrian's box. Now I want to show you what this looks like luminous. Simon, you tell me that 
I don't need a winder, I need a wolf. It's written everywhere. It's a very catchy campaign. Yes. That's a big call. What do you mean by that? Well, we are the best. You have to think you're the best, don't yeah. you? Yeah. No, so we, we are. We start the best. with that. We feel we're that. The best watch, we're the biggest watch podcast in the Mariana Trench. Wow. Yeah. That's uh, fantastic. Yeah. I'll swim alongside you down there then, sir. <laughs> uh, anyway, the, the idea of building a watch winder that does what it should do was what I started with 25 years ago. So there were watch winders out there, but they weren't intelligent. That meant having a computer chip inside, tick that box. It counts turns per day, tick that box. Um, can start and stop where you want it to. Has a dynamic cuff, which we haven't looked at yet, which means any size band, metal, strap, whatever, will go on the dynamic cuff. That's more you than don't a need winder. a watch winder, yeah. you need a wolf. We need a wolf in our lives. You need this winder. We have this winder available. This prepared. I'm no longer looking at it. God, as boring. Abs. This is how he is. When, when <laughs> no, no, dude, like, this is all and it's getting fine. cut. He's, he's wor- it's wasting through time. Getting this is cut. how he is this, most of the time. No, oh. this this is not no, how it this is. This is not being Here cut. Here we go. So do not cut Look. this. <laughs> because it, the time is ticking down. Look at... Oh, piss Anisha's written back to our last episode. Wonderful. There, there it is. You can see here that there's, really there's see that, that loom, yeah. sort of yeah, loomy type really dot. Cute. And there I've put on a door. I went and did a photo shoot with his watch in the restaurant. I was so taken by it. Um, and then there's, again, there's I that close like look that at the other. And then here that. it is with a wrist roll on my wrist at the event. Mm. So 15,000 Swiss franc. FP Jean model with a micro, effectively what is a micro rotor on the dial that is so light, so comfortable. The only drawback is it doesn't have over 100 meters of water resistance. So it doesn't quite get there for being something you'd swim in necessarily. Maybe I think Oliver said that he did. So they're my three watches, the Jean, the Red Sub. Again, I didn't, I, I made the rules and I didn't put a vintage. I didn't have any, any <laughs> restrictions on vintage. And my Zeitwerk in pink gold. I am ready to take the W. See, I, I think and this... you're going to do this out of spite. You're going to pour, you're going to score me poorly out of spite. Everyone knows it. That's to your score. That's to yours. That's also to yours. That's to yours. Just do it. Drop it in. Drop me the two out of ten. Um. We stop that now. I'm ex- I have nothing else to say. See, I, I think before we, before, two things, before we, we reveal the... You haven't uh, even commented on my, on my collection. What? It's, 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 okay. It doesn't require... I think that this is one of the fun things that highlights how differently we see watches. Yeah. So I, I hate big collections. I wear, I have probably about 18 watches and I wear three of them. Like well, you just you just picked up three new watches there, and you're only wearing two of them. That's, that's, that's because that, 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 that's that's yeah, exactly. Captain Boring. So doesn't get for free. <laughs> uh, are we going to do that? Are we going to do me? that? What? No, no let's, let's say, save suspense. that. Okay, a suspense. Have okay. you not seen a horror movie? You know, we don't rip the mask <laughs> no, off and, and this say has been a horror all movie. this pesky time. It's been <laughs> awful. I usually look at you. Sometimes in the middle of an episode, I'm like, I can't wait till the edit. I can't wait to see this. In this one, I fucking hope I never hear about this, <laughs> see it. I'm gonna, I don't want to do the therapy session that talks about it. You've been horrendous. You, we both, we all need to have a talk after this. You, you've let me down. We need to go That's... on there. Oh, fuck, where did you find that? <laughs> fucking hell. I love these watchmaker, things. Watchmaker, catch, catch that. Oh, good. Yeah. The watchmaker's quick. <laughs> He's good. He plays... Anyway, I can't tell you anything about him. Um, I am delighted to pivot from this horror show of poor rankings um, for my selections to Norcane, our BYOA today. Now, Norcane's a brand you're likely to start hearing more about because they are on this absolute tear of global domination. They're appearing in retailers everywhere. They're, they've got this great concession. They've got this great sort of uh, visual merchandising display of the Alps. And that is reflected also in their logo, which is two N's put together to make the Alps. It's a Swiss 
Swiss made brand. It is a family owned company. It's driven by Ben and Carolyn Kerfer, who are two of the most good looking, charismatic people in the industry, which sort of annoys me. Like, they're just, they're just, like, <laughs> it's all just too perfect. They're so, they're so, they're lovely people too. Looking at this watch quickly, this is the wild one. This is the watch that when they first launched the steel collection, I was like, oh, I like what you guys are doing. The build quality looks great. They said, no, 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 don't even think about commenting on those ones. Wait till the wild one. And this is the wild one that has this interesting modular case construction. It has an integrated rubber strap. It has this sort of, I would say, decorative skeletonized dial that doesn't actually give you a peek all the way through to the movement, but it has this really decorative sculptured sort of uh, um, look. As you can see from the indexes that the skeletonized hands and the the second hand there, this is a quality, um, this is this is quality finishing across all that mirror, mirror, mirror finishing there. Um, I am finding it really fun to wear. And I think that, yeah, Norcane's going to enter the conversation. Guys, have you seen or heard much about it? I think you've mentioned I'm, someone I'm, that's involved. Yeah, so I, I have. Um, Jean-Claude Beaver is involved. As they said, he's come on on part of their board. I think this is a really, really great brand. It's it's doing something new, I and I think that is the great thing. I think the wild one is... It, I think the colour combination is amazing and that dual um, case construction. I think when you look at it, it is really cool. When I first saw it, I, and you guys thought I was being mean i wasn't being mean i liked the buckle i liked i <laughs> liked George says, the buckle i like the buckle i like i like the buckle i also loved what they'd done on that rubber strap with the actual angled bit on the rubber strap i can yes you can comment on how great the dial and the case is but that's obvious yeah. the things that aren't yeah, obvious are the, the buckle and the yeah, yeah. the edging on that rubber strap you know you look at the things that they've done even how they've done that modular case there is some great things and there's some great details for me this is is an amazing watch yeah and the last little interesting point about this in terms of you george is that there's the option for customization and personalization of this little boiler plate so it's got a on plate. the side of the a name plate on the side of the the case there thank you norcane for nothing because we just did that because you're independent we like you i think it's time i think it's time should we ask the should we should we get the masked watchmaker to flip him no, or you no, know that, no? That, that, no do you know what i mean is like and subscribe to oh, us. Yeah, I do like and subscribe when you do that. Like and subscribe to us because the thing is, we do something called the therapy session and that you will get an alert when the therapy session happens. Um, and also, you're, you're just part of our community. We, we love you to like and subscribe. The more subscribers we have, and the more likes we have, the more love we give. And, God, we've got to and do vote. a... Re and vote. We've got the big we'll reveal to happen. So I've got... Mr. Bamford. So we're going to add up the, the numbers together. So guys, let's do this like poker. Put him in the right. middle. Okay. 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 I'm coming from the right. Okay. Cool. Adrian. So th one at a time. Three, two, one. Adrian, so you've got a five. George, you've got a seven. Uh, you have got a three out of ten. It's just uncovered. Oh my goodness. That's it's three, two, one. Bang. Uh, George, you've got six a six out of ten. You've got a six. Four and a half. Ten. Four and a half. So that's 11 and a half. Okay, wait, this is a I'm, not, I'm seeing some handwriting similarities <laughs> on the low scores, Mr. Barker. You've, you've given us seven and a half out of 20 <laughs> between us. I'm too generous. I am too kind. You know what? You decide this. This is clearly corrupt. This is, I mean, I do sound a little bit like Trump wanting a recount. And I feel like, you know, ordering you to storm the White House. So, oh, who's, who yeah. has actually won out of this? You uh, have by point five. Of I won! Yes! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes! Okay, great. On that note, uh, this is over. About effing time. I won. <laughs> I lost in one of them, and now I've won. Oh shit me! Thanks for watching about effing time. I'll see you another time. <laughs> it's so pissed off. <laughs>